Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to try something very simple. We are going to play with chat GPT. Try to ask it stuff about data analytics. Give it some questions from Excel, maybe some SQL situations. See how it responds. So first of all I am going to ask it. Like, I want to become a data analyst. Tell me the three most important tools I must learn. As you see, it shows you to pick up a programming language, Python R. Our uh, channel has a lot of Python videos. And inside that, it's talking about pandas and also data visualization. And uh, here it's showing about Tableau or Power BI. Okay, so it's talking about pandas package, programming language, and Tableau or Power BI. Okay, uh, it's not mentioning SQL directly, but at the end it says familiarity with SQL can be a valuable plus as well. And I'm sure Excel is also really important, but this is the answer it is giving. Imagine I am in a data analyst interview give me 10 questions okay and it's going to say talk about supervised unsupervised learning handle missing data so as you see it's pouring in a lot of statistics questions this may not necessarily be the case in all the interviews but it's good to know some of these statistical concepts okay so some of the questions it's giving is like this okay let's move on and give it a simple excel question so I have a data set like this with these three data points, uh, city, device and also the sales. Let's say I want to find the total sales for uh, just for the category of let's say laptop. We'll have to use a sum if function. Let's go and give it some instructions to see if it can find out the answer. Okay, so device is in column B, sales is in column C. So I can say I have a data set in Google Sheets which has device in, in column B and um, it has sales in column C. Write me an Excel function to only sum the sales for a device name is laptop or something okay and let's see what it does and it's giving a neat sum if function let's go and copy this and see of course i have to change i think the laptop small l to capital l but otherwise it looks good right it's already working right to be safe i'll change it to capital l 2400 so for laptop if you check the total it's 2400 which is correct right it's able to do it simple sum if function let me just give it one more thing so i have uh, you know company year and the revenue values let's assume we want to do the year on year calculation using sql will it be able to give a query okay so i'll say i have a database with a column for company then uh, we have the year and sales write a SQL query to show year on year change in sales per company okay so it should ideally use the lag function let's see if it's giving it something properly so as you see okay it's giving something else maybe we should give it better in instructions right because it's selecting current year in its previous year directly so let me go and give it a better instruction. So I have a database with value for company, sales value and year. Let's say write a SQL window function query to calculate year on year change in sales. Let's see if it works out better now. And you see it's giving lag sales over partition by company and then sales minus lag sales 
which is showing the year on year change right so this is the query this will work so definitely it is able to solve the question right so you need to give it more instructions sometimes let me give it one more question uh, tell me the average data analyst salary in india let's see what it says so i have given this instruction it says 3.5 to 10 lakh per year okay i'm not sure how true this is but it's a good range that we have okay so this is just playing around with chat gpt you can also try doing things like this uh, thanks for watching this video i'll see you in another video